Hey everyone, I'm Liz and today I'm going to show you how to make a wig cap to add to your crochet dolls. You can use these wig caps to sew onto the scalp of your dolls to prevent the color of the scalp from showing through the hair of your doll. Some things you'll need for this tutorial are a crochet hook, I'll be using a size E, some Aran or worsted weight yarn in the same or a similar color to the doll's hair, I'll be using black Aran weight yarn from Red Heart for these dolls, and plum wine worsted weight yarn from Karen Simply Soft for these dolls. Just make sure to get as close as possible to the color of the hair you'll be using. You'll need a doll to sew the wig cap onto. You can click the link at the top of the screen for my curvy doll tutorial, or look in the description below for my upper body doll tutorial and my basic doll tutorial. You'll also need a pair of scissors to cut off your yarn, a yarn needle to sew in your ends, and to sew the wig cap onto your doll. And if you like, you can use a stitch marker or bobby pin to keep track of the first stitch of your row. And after you've made your wig cap, you'll need to add yarn to it to make up the doll's hair. You can find all my doll hair tutorials in the description below. So I'm going to begin by creating a magic circle. If you want, you could start by just chaining three and slip stitching because the hair is going to cover up most of the wig cap when it's finished so you probably won't see the hole in the middle of the wig cap. But I just prefer to do double magic circles, so that's what I'm going to do. So to create a double magic circle, I'm going to wrap my yarn around my fingers twice to create two loops. And then into those two loops, I'm going to pull up a loop and chain two. And that is going to count as my first stitch. Now I want to have six stitches total, so I'm going to single crochet five more times into my two loops. So I've gotten to the end of five more stitches. So now I'm going to close my magic circle. First I'm going to pull on the tail a little bit so that I have one bigger loop and one smaller loop. Then I'm going to find that smaller loop and pull it from the side that's closest to the tail until the other loop closes completely. And then I'm going to pull on my tail until this loop closes. Okay, now I'm going to begin to increase each row until the size of my circle is about the same as the top of the head of my doll. I'm going to increase six times per row. So in this row, I'm going to increase every stitch of the row since I have six stitches total. First, I'm going to find that chain that counts as the first stitch in this row, and I'm going to single crochet onto that chain. Then in the same stitch, I'm going to single crochet again to increase. And I'm going to continue to increase every stitch until the end of the row. So I'm going to single crochet two times into each stitch. Now I've finished my first row of increase, I'm going to increase for two more rows. In this row, I'm going to increase every second stitch, once again so that I'm increasing six times in the row. You can continue to increase for as long as you like. In the next row, you would increase every third stitch, then in the next row, every fourth stitch, then every fifth stitch, and so on. Just continue to increase six times per row until your circle is about the same width as the top of your doll's head. So I've done the first stitch, now I'm going to single crochet two times into the second stitch. And I'm going to continue to increase every second stitch all the way around the row.
Then I'm going to do another row of increase, and in that next row, I'm going to increase every third stitch of the row. Okay, I've done my last row of increase, and now my circle is about the same width as the head of my doll. Now I'm going to single crochet for a couple of rows to lengthen the wig cap. I'm going to go on for six rows, but you can make the doll's wig cap longer or shorter depending on the look you want. Okay, I've gotten to the end of six more rows. So now I'm going to end my doll's wig cap. So to do that, I'm just going to slip stitch into the first stitch of my row. And then I'm going to cut off a long tail of my yarn, and I'm going to use that tail to sew the wig cap to my doll's head. Now all the wig caps are sewn onto all the dolls. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, push the like button or share it on social media. If you want to see my curly doll hair tutorial, click the link at the end of the video or check in the description below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye!